If you're struggling with restless nights, it's time to cut through the confusion and discover how a small hormone can have a big impact on your well-being. As a mature woman, understanding the role of melatonin in your body will help you restore restful sleep and balanced energy. In this video, I'll show you how melatonin affects your sleep and metabolism. And if you're new here, I'm Dr. Gayla Gorman, a licensed acupuncturist, naturopath, and author of What's Your Kryptonite? On this channel, I'm here to help you reverse the effects of chronic stress so that you can cruise through midlife and beyond symptom-free, so that you can put an end to common midlife symptoms like chronic fatigue, insomnia, mood swings, issues with gut health, and even weight gain. So the way melatonin works in the human body is kind of interesting because we're taught to believe that melatonin really is just involved in our sleep-wake cycle, but that's really only one of the things that this little hormone takes care of. It's interesting to understand that melatonin is a hormone. If you are considering supplementing with melatonin, you are using hormone replacement therapy. And that's all thing that you really want to consider and put some thought into. We're going to talk a little bit more about that as we get further into this video here. But this hormone triggers your pancreas and actually lowers insulin. So this is one of the ways that it really helps with your metabolism and helps with weight regulation. This hormone melatonin is really key also to thyroid function. It helps regulate your thyroid and makes it more efficient. It's also really important for your pituitary gland your pituitary gland excretes prolactin. This helps the body maintain homeostasis. Homeostasis is basically when we keep everything regulated and working properly, but it also helps to increase growth hormone. And growth hormone is a good thing because it helps us actually do all the repair work that's necessary to keep this human body working optimally. Dr. Jack Cruz is a respected neurosurgeon, and he says that a key regulator of healing and removing damaged cells is melatonin. He says that it's really important to get eight hours of melatonin activity for optimal repair, and that melatonin really doesn't increase until about four hours after your last exposure to light. So if you think about that, when we are exposing our eyes to blue light well into the evening, it's disrupting our body's natural melatonin production. And so if we need at least eight hours of melatonin production to really take care of all the repair work, then we need to stop this artificial light four hours prior to wanting to go to sleep. That means we've got 12 hour period of time. We really need to control what's going on with our exposure to light. So if we are not optimally creating melatonin, we're gonna have issues related to mitochondrial production and obviously issues related to sleep. But it's really important to understand that you're not necessarily going to solve your sleep problems just by supplementing with melatonin. In fact, you may actually create more issues because you are further dysregulating a hormonal system that's already struggling to maintain homeostasis, as we just pointed out. And when we are not maintaining homeostasis, when we're not generating plenty of growth hormones, then we have issues like not enough autophagy where our cellular repair 
is happening and basically our body is doing all of that cleanup that happens on an ongoing basis. We have lots of cells that are dying off, that become damaged. We want our body to be able to clean up all that debris, essentially. We want our body to just naturally be turning over cells. That's how we remain youthful and basically defy the hands of time reverse aging. Melatonin also contributes to our mood and this I think is thought to be related to how melatonin responds to our circadian rhythms or actually helps to keep our circadian rhythms sort of in check and this happens Also with the cycle of the sun and the moon, one of the best ways to keep your circadian rhythms in check and also to keep your melatonin production regulated is to have regular exposure to the morning sun and the evening sun. And if that can't happen, then you need to find a way to mimic that in order to keep your hormonal system regulated. So just know that when you have any sort of issues related to melatonin production or any hormonal dysregulation, it is going to have an effect on your insulin regulation and that is going to make it a challenge for you to be able to maintain your metabolic system and will potentially lead to metabolic disorders, which tends to result in unwanted weight gain or fat accumulation. We definitely want to keep that from happening and putting a little bit of focused energy and supporting our body's natural melatonin production is really an important way to do that. So how do we know if we're deficient in melatonin? What are some of the symptoms that point to a melatonin deficiency? Obviously, disturbed sleep is a clear indication that there's probably some issue with your melatonin production. The way I describe it is sleep is supposed to happen naturally. And it can feel kind of like the curtains falling. When sleep happens naturally, you can basically feel like you're awake one minute and you just start yawning and feeling the curtain falling. The next thing you know, you wake up and you're like, I didn't even realize I was falling asleep. So that's the way sleep's supposed to happen naturally. So when sleep is disturbed, when you're waking up in the middle of the night and you can't go back to sleep easily, that sort of thing, that's disturbed sleep. And that can point to a melatonin deficiency, but not necessarily something that you can supplement around. If you are having trouble falling asleep and you've tried all the things like eliminating the light disruption four hours prior to bed and doing some of the other things I recommend in some of my other videos related to insomnia, then it could point to a need to short-term supplement with melatonin to help you fall asleep. Remember, melatonin's not really going to help you stay asleep. That's a different problem. But falling asleep is typically triggered by an increase in melatonin production. You also might find that you have mood fluctuations. And this can be just the result of not sleeping well because nobody is in a good mood if they're not sleeping well. But it may be go beyond that and you may find that your mood fluctuations are to some degree reflective of a hormone disruption that you've got going on and melatonin may be one of those hormones that is not quite regulated properly. So if you're struggling to sleep soundly, it's a clear sign that there's some internal stress overwhelming your system. And this is just an example of one of the countless ways stress creates symptoms and other health issues, especially during midlife. I created a video that shows you how to eliminate these symptoms naturally, so I'll make sure to link to it below this video. But make sure you hit subscribe too because I share a lot of tips when it comes to dealing with stress that's become toxic. And relieving the nasty symptoms stress creates makes cruising through midlife a breeze. So what are some of the benefits of supplementing with melatonin? Well, 
you have heard me talk about what melatonin does as we've moved through this video here. So obviously it looks intriguing and appealing to supplement with melatonin. Melatonin has an antioxidant effect because it's stimulating the pituitary gland and the growth hormones and the homeostasis effect. And so that is really one of its beautiful side effects that we don't typically associate with melatonin. It's also interesting that if you are having sensitivity to light, that may be an indication that you are having difficulty regulating melatonin. And again, if you are already doing all the things and you've controlled the light exposure, then melatonin supplementation can help with your eye health as well. It's anti-inflammatory. Anytime you're gonna better regulate your thyroid and you're going to regulate your insulin production, that's going to have an anti-inflammatory effect in your body. So obviously it is appealing to consider supplementing with melatonin, but there are some cautions you need to consider. And I've mentioned this several times here, but I just want to bring it up again that melatonin is a hormone and when you are supplementing with melatonin, you are using hormone replacement therapy. And that is risky and is not something that you want to do without putting a lot of thought into it. And I would definitely say that you would not want to supplement with melatonin long-term. If you want to supplement with melatonin periodically because you're having an issue, for example, falling asleep, remember it's not the thing you want to use if you're having a problem staying asleep, but if you're having a problem falling asleep and you're otherwise doing all the right things, then using melatonin um, to help support that melatonin production to promote falling asleep can be helpful. The way I kind of describe the short-term supplementation is that all we're really trying to do is reboot our internal systems, remind our systems what they're designed to do naturally. And if we are introducing a lot of additional toxicity, blue light exposure is one of the forms of toxicity that I talk about regularly. So if you're introducing a lot of additional toxicity and you're thinking that you're going to just supplement with melatonin to get around it, just know that you're creating a lot of additional internal problems that are going to have to be dealt with at some point. So honestly, just say no and do some things that are actually going to address the root cause of the problem. There's also, again, because this is a hormone and because there are other considerations, melatonin could interact with a medication that you may be taking. So that's really an important consideration as well. If you are taking any sleep medication, you definitely do not want to be also using melatonin and further creating a dependency and confusing your internal systems on what it is and isn't supposed to do and how those processes are supposed to be regulated. And if your best efforts to live a healthy lifestyle and do all the things you've been led to think are supposed to work aren't getting the job done, you may even be feeling like you take two steps forward and three back. In my next video, I'll show you how to manage the toxic stress that's sabotaging your efforts. You can eliminate the symptoms that seem to be piling up in midlife naturally without medication, crazy diets, intense exercise, or any other unsustainable lifestyle hack.